They change, but in a cycle that I can lose each painful but delightful to live through. You came into my life just like another season, not for long, just a time, just like another season. Maybe this time next year. season
from the Amex Stadium Brighton, the jewel of England's South Coast. I'm Guy Mowbray, and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Brighton and Hove Albion versus Arsenal. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them their final instructions. Go up. What a chance. Still with a bit to do. Oh, superb save. He's done so well to keep that out. This is how Arsenal line up. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Gabriel Martinelli starts with Bukayo Sack. Oh, this is a great opportunity. It's in, and it was always going to go in with nobody in the way. Kai Havertz. Martin Odegaard. That's not a bad looking ball. And offside rules the assistant referee. Off the defender and a corner to come. And the ball comes in. 
Oh, good save to stop him scoring a lovely headed goal. And behind for a corner, pressure still on. Only half the job done there. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Could be a chance to break here. Oh, he's done well to get past his man. Oh, what a really good save that was. Corner kick played in. It's wide. It looked like a really good headed chance. And deflected out for a throw in. Good work from Arsenal to win back possession. Well, you really shouldn't concede possession as easily as that. The green convertible car parked near reception. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. And he's done well there to get it to the keeper. Kai Havertz. There's a chance for them to go now. And it's opened up for him. But it's only resulted in a fairly routine save. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Martinelli. Has to be. And a marvellous save. Well, it just shows great reflexes and agility to keep that out. It's a top-class save. Well, they could still do something here. Saka. And that has stopped any potential danger. Being pressed here. Martinelli, he's beaten his marker here. Oh yes, all the practice pays off. Now, this has to be. Oh, against the bar. A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. Well, that was close to going in. And oh, just... sorry, Sue, a good opportunity. And it's in. The goal to get us back to level pegging. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Saka. Jesus! Well, that's what he's there for. It's a good stop. And that will do it for the first half here in... The ball is rolling and the second half is underway. Joel Veltman. In behind, can he finish? And there it is, he's doubled up for the day. The game restarts with the score now 2-1. He's beaten his marker here. And he's being urged to shoot. Placed right into the goalkeeper's zone, and he's caught it. Martinelli. Surely the equaliser. It's there! That didn't last long at that level already. Martinelli. Martinelli. He takes it on. And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. Having a try. In the right position to cut out the pass. Keoru Mitoma. Sent into the middle. 
And away it goes. Really good pass. Can he finish? And two becomes three as he completes his hat-trick. A superb performance. Lovely ball. Could be a chance. Nearly a wonderful attempt. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he's caught it well. Very unfortunate. Martin Erdegaard. Now this might be promising. Plenty of room here. Oh, that's not properly away. Promising ball. So a corner for Arsenal as they look for a route back into the match. It had to be, but the defending ensured it wasn't. Nicely played. Oh, a great chance. Hits the upright. And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Saka. What a chance. It's in. And this game isn't lost or won just yet. Goal for Arsenal. Something for Arsenal to bite on now as the game restarts. That's not a bad-looking ball. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Gross. Well, still pushing forward in search of the equaliser. Safe, but not clear. And he's done well to punch that clear. Pushing forward, now to make the right choice. Oh, off the post! Well, for a second, I thought that was going to seal it. So close to putting the game to bed, but there's still enough time for an equaliser here. Beautifully weighted ball, and that's pretty straightforward for the keeper. Declan Rice. Sloppy on the ball there. There is the final whistle. Wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion.
of excitement and a stadium... Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United, and they take on Brighton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever... Real chance! Oh, that is an outrageously good stop! Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! He's given it away. Good weight on that pass. Ings. Well, they kept a shake defensively. Job done for now. Brilliant piece of skill. And the referee blows for a foul. Might work out. Really good piece of... And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. And there to intervene. That's a good ball. And a good take under duress there. Ward Prowse. Well, that is how to play advantage. The Hammers unable to retain possession. Pedro. And defensive play to be applauded. Ings. Kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Corner kick played in. It might still be problematic. Stopped a certain goal. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And a fine cross. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Oh, good skill and he's managed to beat his man. Lucas Paqueta. Or Prowse. They could nudge in front. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? And sadly, quite a bit off target in the end. Read it superbly to take back possession. Really good build-up, but no end product. Well back. Oh, it's a terrific challenge. Winning the ball high up the pitch. Great example of it. And the shot. And giving it real leather, but off the crossbar here. Well, he struck it with power, but he's got to keep that down. Antonio. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Really clever pressing. Danny Ings. Oh, could be. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. So back underway. West Ham very much bossing the game up to now. Will there be a response in the second half?
Well back. Ward Prowse. Clean challenge. That's a good looking ball. Chance to make a game of it here. And Ariola acquits himself magnificently. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Ings. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Nice looking pass. And intercepted it. In with a chance. What a save. Well, it might not get his side back into this game, but I have to say, that was a top-class save. It did look on for them, but not to be. And threading it through. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Well back! What an important piece of defending. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Can he get one back? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Paqueta. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. That is a tackle and a half. Under some pressure here. Everybody loves you and is thinking about you. Well back. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And this would reduce the deficit. And a goal! Not over just yet. Ings. Good challenge and a throw in coming up. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And the keeper making sure nothing untoward happens. And snuffing out the danger. Plenty of support here. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Good tackle, take it away. What can the Hammers do from this position? My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? Oh, he'll take it on. Well, not the ideal free kick and straight into the wall. Lucas Paqueta. Oh, he's lost possession. This could finish it. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. So the referee brings this game to an end. Not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.
are sky high and eight. Well, hello and welcome to Craven Cottage. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. And we've got live Premier League action for you today. It's Fulham and they face Brighton and Hove Albion. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. And the referee has given a penalty. This to strike first. And he does the job from the spot. So off we go at 1-0. Oh, that's not a good challenge at all. Card coming here, surely. Timothy Castagna. Promising looking attack, this. A nice cutback. And that'll go out for a corner. Into the box it goes. A bit sloppy in possession. That has gone out. It'll be a throw. Raul Jimenez. Untidy in possession there. Now there might be a chance as they keep it moving. Picks out a teammate. Oh dear, had to make the keeper work harder there. Yeah, the keeper does everything right, but it's a straightforward save in the end. Surely he's got a score from there. Pressure on, it'll be another corner. And it's there, the lead didn't last long. They're back level already. William. Now, this has to be. Well, that's what he's there for. It's a good stop. Pascal Gross. Well, they've certainly been positive in their play, haven't they? But for that really good save, they'd be in the lead now. Tom Kearney. Jimenez! And there's the goal to put them in front. Not getting close enough here. Good challenge, and the throw-in will follow. Making decent progress here. Raul Jimenez. Now, can he get the cross in? Looking for an angle here. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Real opportunity. Very, very close, but hit too hard to get the bend that was needed to score. A good advantage played by the ref. In the right position to cut out the pass. Quick into the tackle, and the result is a throw. Has the space to whip it in here. Trying his luck. Well, not a million miles away. No, it was close. Decent effort that. Just need to keep plugging away, and surely the goal will come. Nicely kept in. That's good work. And the ball has been lost. Well, we're approaching the interval now, and I should think the fans will be happy enough with the score. What about the performance? Well, they've been able to dictate the play for large parts of this half, and some really good combination play in that final third. They do have to be careful, though, not to switch off defensively. Play on is the referee's call. The effort shut out. And the first 45 minutes have... 
so the second half kicks off. Moving in field here, but able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. The game brought to a halt, a free kick given for that. Raul Jimenez, really nicely played. What can they do with this now? Read the pass well and cuts it out. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick to come. Lovely ball, now what can they do with it? Well, of all the players we're watching today, would you agree that he'd certainly get good marks so far? Yeah, he's had a decent half. He's always wanting the ball and he's communicating well to those around him. But as a team, they've got to do better in the second 45. And that's where it ends with possession lost. There's a chance for the breakaway here. Halinha. Jimenez, can he finish? Off the upright. And that is where the attack will end. Well, if that went in, the game would have definitely had a different complexion. Just wondering if we're going to see a response now. We certainly need one. Now he could be in trouble here, already on a yellow. Oh, great technique and accuracy, but the keeper able to turn it away. A corner now, then, and a good chance. And this could be, and ready for it coming his way. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Counter-attack coming, away they go. They could level it here. In it goes! Level once again. What a game this is turning out to be. Oh, that's been won really smartly. And it's opened up! And that was hit from some distance and didn't miss by a great deal. Didn't. He's certainly full of confidence and to attempt the shot from there, that was close. In the right position to cut out the pass. Jimenez. And the ref has played advantage here. And this is a positive looking move. Chance for the lead. Must score. With the keeper nowhere to be seen, they've been punished. Shocking defending. And he'll have a go here. It didn't have to be much closer. Yeah, that was really close. It's not a bad effort. If they get another one, I'm sure they'll finish it off. Halinha. A bit sloppy in possession. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. And the defence tidies up nicely. And able to come away with the ball. Urging him to shoot. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. The ref allowing the game to flow. Well, they tried to keep going, but they can't after that. Free kick. The ref allowing play to continue. A really good interception to take the ball. Well, certainly wasn't a clean tackle. Might go in the book here. Jimenez. There's a chance for them to go now. Now, this has to be. It's hit the bar. It was looking good, but not all the way through. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives. For 
Both teams give absolutely everything. There was a real intensity to the game, but I think the moments of quality just give them the edge and they deserve the results. to you from the Amex Stadium Brighton, the jewel of England's south coast. My name's Guy Mowbray, joined for commentary by Sue Smith, and a live game from the Premier League on the way, it's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Aston Villa. Yeah, cheers guys, great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off though and they start quickly, but I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully I've not just cursed it. Well, speculative effort. Well, he's kept that out nicely. It's been delivered. And the corner comes to nothing.
And it's on now. Oh, it's in. An early opener to get the game going. And a good tackle results in a throw-in. Here's the shot. Well, not a million miles away. No, it was close. Decent effort that. Just need to keep plugging away and surely the goal will come. And they've lost it now. He'll try his luck. Not a bad effort, but it's gone over the top and away. McGinn. Ollie Watkins. And that is a great challenge. More oh, chance here. Over the byline, corner kick to come. And they take a short corner. From a long way out. What a terrific effort. That would have been special. Well, he watches the ball all the way, connects with it perfectly. We just can't find the accuracy. It's a great effort, though. Thank you. Ollie Watkins. Has to be, and denied by a top draw tackle. And they go short with the corner. It's on for the shot, but the keeper saw it coming and saves easily. Veltman. out of play throw in to come oh that's been won really smartly and to go a long way with this oh they've lost it Pascal Gross crucial defending they could level it here and it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper Encouraging signs to the attack, but it hasn't led to anything. Gonna try his luck. Well, it has to be perfectly struck from that distance, and that wasn't. It wasn't. He certainly got the confidence to have a go from there, but he gets it all wrong. It's miles away from the target. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. And this could be... But nothing doing with that effort. Nah, it's not a bad attempt, that Struck it well, but the keeper shifted his feet quickly and would have saved it, I'm sure. They've given it away here. Now there might be a chance as they keep it moving. And that's a shame for them, nothing doing. lost it could be costly and it's on now and it's a pretty good save by the keeper and that brings to an end the first half off we go the second half underway And we could watch that sort of skill all day. And possession given away. The RB. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Well, he's asked plenty of questions of the back line. It's certainly been difficult to contain. Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully see a little bit more of that in the second half. Making good progress here. Yet to find a way to goal. Able to skip past. Oh, 
Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. Well, listen to the noise. The fans are adamant that that was a penalty, and it wasn't given. A chance to cross here. That set up the chance. Real opportunity. But he's fluffed his lines there. Well, he just isn't composed when the chance comes. It could still go either way here. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Lovely, incisive ball. But not the end result that was hoped for. An attack of genuine promise developing. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Well, the crowd are looking to really give the players a boost. They know that this is a big chance to pull level. Oh, just wide of the mark. Really wasn't much in that at all. Musa Diaby. And the assistant spotted a touch there. Throw in. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Is this the equaliser? And it's in! The goal to get us back to level pegging. What all then as we get started again? Asking quite a lot to score from there. And that's missed by quite a bit. Oh no, what's he doing there? That's an opportunity wasted. It's got to be a perfect shot to beat the goalkeeper. And that wasn't. In behind, can he finish? Cut back nicely. And another! Two goals in a matter of minutes. No wonder they're celebrating. Incredible! Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. But that's excellent work to come and take the ball away. Good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. This is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. And that's been nicely won by the defence. Has to be. Late drama here. All square once again, and no wonder they're off celebrating. Promising move this. A goal now would surely be the winner. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick to come. Well, they could have had a great chance there, but not even close to getting it right. Easily offside. Beautifully weighted ball. And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. McGinn. Got room to operate in here. And the shot thwarted. Advantage played, no free kick. It's all over as the ref blows for full time.
Feelings come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but it And hello from the stadium that was the main venue for the 2012 Olympics here in the English capital We're at the London Stadium I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And a look at the West Ham eleven. Alphonse Ariola between the posts. Vladimir Tsofal starts with Emerson in the fullback positions. James Ward-Prowse plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And in attack, Mikel Antonio plays alongside Danny Ings. And they might forge ahead. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. That's a good-looking ball. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Antonio. And a tidy challenge. Paqueta. And this to level it. Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Watkins. Tielemans. And still looking for space. Interception to snuff out the danger. Can he put it away? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Ollie Watkins. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. In position. Splendid defending. Now, how about the short corner? Well, it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. Oh, he's given us away. Musa Diaby. A long way out. Body in the way. Well, he's given us away. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. And that'll be offside. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Antonio. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Alex Moreno. Oh, no let up. Plenty of pressure. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, as the stats show us, Aston Villa have had most of the play. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, the keeper asking too much of his teammates on this occasion. Throw in to come. And we will have just one additional minute. Good idea. Foiling his opponent completely. They favoured a short one here. Has eyes for goal. Well, very effective goalkeeper. 
So off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, he's given it away. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Is this the moment? A goal! Just what they needed! Still plenty of life in this match. So, moving once more. And West Ham, make no mistake, right back in this contest now. Antonio. Oh, that's a fine ball. Oh, that's a... Oh, it's gone in! And that will be written down as an own goal. No wonder he's hanging his head. This could spell trouble, with the referee having already shown the yellow card. He had to react, and did. Danny Ings. Now with Antonio. Oh, a superb save. And play halted, free kick given. Alex Moreno. On to McGinn. Really getting stuck in. Plenty of support here. Well, Prowse must take the lead here. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Good work from Bahamas to win back possession. Now, can he get on the end of this one? Oh, goodness me, off the post. Well, no damage done. Now, can they hit them on the counter? And finally, up a cul-de-sac. Lovely work to get past his man. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Interception to snuff out the danger. Diaby, it has to be, and both hands on it, good goalkeeping. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Oh, good vision, now he's got to stay calm. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Good tackle taken away. Good idea. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Ward Prowse. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it petered out. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, going forward, they've been excellent, but they've also been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. So that will do it for this game. It is officially. Didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
everyone. We're in Manchester today, the Etihad Stadium. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with the former England forward Sue Smith. And a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Manchester City and they play Crystal Palace. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. Working hard to win it back there. This is the Manchester City starting 11. Edison is between the posts. Joshko Guardiol plays with Kyle Walker in the fullback positions. Rodri plays alongside Bernardo Silva in the heart of midfield. And the main man in attack is Erling Haaland. Alvarez. This is the Crystal Palace lineup. Yeah, they're playing a 4 3 3. One central striker with the wingers providing the width. A quite narrow three in midfield and then a back four where the full backs they're going to be expected to get up and down those flanks. And this could be. And we haven't had to wait long for the opening goal. It's 1 0. Making good progress here. And he's got behind it. And it's been kept out by the tips of the fingers. Behind it goes for a corner. Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. Could be a chance. Well, not a million miles away. No, it was close. Decent effort that. Just need to keep plugging away and surely the goal will come. Mateta. They're being afforded too much space here. And that'll be a Crystal Palace throw. It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. There's space out wide for City now. Genuine chance. Oh, quality keeping. Well, he certainly showed his class there with that save. You'd expect him to score from there, but he comes from nowhere to keep that out. Oh, great block. And cleared behind for another corner. Ruben Diaz. Oh, superb save. He's done so well to keep that out. Bit sloppy in possession. Now there could be a chance to counter. Found nicely and... And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. And that's been seen as a foul. Free kick. Well, it takes a brave player to have a go from that distance. It's ended up nowhere near. Yeah, that was way off target, Guy. I'm not sure why he's even attempted it. Wasted a decent opportunity. Eze. Well read to gain possession. And the wrong side of the defence, offside. Eberechi Eze. Oh, good defending, just when it was looking threatening. And it's opened up for him. Super try and almost a super goal. It was, and it's a difficult technique, and he just makes it look easy. Great body position, nice hit. Just unlucky that he can't finish. Haaland, what a chance here. It might still happen. It's broken down, and it had looked promising. Well, it was a great save, that, wasn't it? The two-goal lead is still intact because they've worked so hard to get that. They just can't become sloppy now. The crowd urging him to shoot. Haaland. Oh, it's still in there. It's in. Oh, they needed that. And they're not out of this game yet. They're back underway. Can Manchester City find another goal? And on that whistle, the first half ends. 
ball is rolling and the second half is underway beautifully weighted ball well an ambitious effort but it results in an easy save Alvarez and that's not a bad save at all Chris Richards Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Plenty of open space here. Oh, a great chance. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Nicely played. Saw the threat and stopped it. Haaland comeback could be on here there it is dispatched well much to the delight of the fans and the forward progress continues with a good ball and it's on now and the keeper more than equal to it that set up the chance well timed with the slide tackle had to be And we could watch that sort of skill all day. Alvarez. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Breaking at pace. This could be dangerous. Great chance here. My word, that was close. That is a really good counter, Guy. It went from defence to attack so quickly. They just couldn't quite finish it off. Good work to recover possession. Corner to come then, and an opportunity to extend this lead. Well, so frustrating for those waiting in the middle. Poor corner. Jeremy Doku. A bit sloppy in possession. Oh, great block. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Well, as soon as they won the ball back there was an almighty roar. The fans are trying to push the team forward and get an equaliser. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. But that's where any chance of anything developing disappears. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. What a chance here! Must be! And then level! From two goals down to drawing! What a reaction this has been! Richards. Fine. Genuine chance! And against the post! And the move has come to an end. The counter looks on here. Options available. He's hit that well. But it's a tame try. Or at least that's how the goalkeeper's made it appear. Well, it's away. And it's also thrown out of play for a throw in. Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. Well, good defending in the end. And danger averted for now. This looks really good. Could we see a winning goal? And it's kept out. They've got their keeper to thank for still being level. Well, when he's called upon, he's ready. And that's such a good save at a really crucial time in the game. It's brilliant from the keeper. And what a chance this could be to potentially win the game from this corner. Still problems for them here. Not the end to the move they were looking for. And there it is.
Welcome to the part of West London where the King's Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Chelsea facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the flag raised. Offside it is. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, it came to nothing in the end. City pushing forward with options available. Is this the moment? Oh, tremendous! Save. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Can they forge ahead? And defending right on the line. Clear deflection and a corner now. Not the best clearance. Happy to shoot. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Fernandez. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Offside the decision. Well, it clearly was deflected. 
So it will be their throw in. City finding space on the flank. Dangerous looking attack. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Kunku and in a perfect position to cut it out. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And a good take under duress there. Phil Foden. Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden now. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. Fernandez. What can Chelsea do from this position? Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Mudrik. Possession one. Well, they know they need to stop him. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Given away by Chelsea. And teammates around him. But quick thinking defensively. Holland. And he's made headway. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. This could be troublesome. Spot on with that tackle. And so the first half draws to a close here and... So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Holland, can they nudge in front? And a goal this time, applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Oh, to level the match. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game, and they weren't behind for long. Jeremy Doku. Nkunku has it. Nkunku, chances on. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Advantageous situation here for Chelsea developing. And it might be a oh, great challenge, but not out of the woods. Can he do it? Foden. So a half an hour remaining. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Opportunity here. And you cannot argue with a hat trick. Simply unstoppable today. Jeremy Doku. Throw into Manchester City. And Chelsea did well to regain control of it. Nice looking move, this. 
Opportunity. Oh, blocked it. Good run, very much in control of the situation. And Kunku. Can he take advantage? And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. And taking it away. Holland. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Plenty of support here. And Kunku. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. That's a high quality pass. Must score. And very deftly cut out. Jeremy Doku. And City get the throw in. Rodri. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Nkunku. Here's Alvarez. Jeremy Doku. Oh, this looks useful. Timely intervention. Can he convert? Tremendous block. Well, far too much on that particular cross. And so there we have it, the final whistle. And the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though. I won't want to be in that dressing room right now.
The day is here. The match everyone has... And we find ourselves in one of the great football cities, Liverpool, here at Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Everton facing Manchester City. Can he make it count? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! Nicely cut out. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Holland. Ball is loose. Oh, and the decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. To give them the lead here. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. McNeil. Possession seeded by the Toffees. Holland, a oh, tremendous block. Calvert Lewin, not to like about that pass, and the ball back with City now. Tarkovsky, Patterson. Calvert Lewin, big chance, and a goal, the equaliser, superb entertainment. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails, great defending. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And playing it through. Crucial piece of defending. As soon as possible. Thank you. Rodri. Erling Haaland. On a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Ducure and support available. And take it away. Rodri. And Sese coming away with it. Holland. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Makes the move to the inside. Gvardiol. Well, tremendous block. Can't miss, surely. Magnificent defending. Set pieces can be so important. Let's see what City have been working on. A smart stop here. Harrison. And he's made headway. Well, it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. And so the first half story has been written. It's half time here at Goodison Park. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Oh, 
Bernardo Silva. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Well, you might say par for the course as far as Erling Haaland was concerned in the first half. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Might be able to produce from this position. And there's the feed into the box. Smuggled away. Foden. Bernardo Silva released it nicely. Must take the lead here and not cleared away properly. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, City will count themselves unlucky not to have taken the lead there because that was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. What a stop that was. Not really the high percentage option to try your luck from there. Well, his teammates aren't particularly happy. He was never going to score from there. Onana. James Tarkovsky. How oh, can they open up the defence here? Chance to cross. Oh, goodness me. Meat and drink for the keeper. Well, you expect him to score from there, but he just got it all wrong, didn't he? City move it forward with purpose. Chance for Bernardo Silva. And offside, just as he was ready to pounce. Onana. And teammates around him. Oh, managing to beat him. McNeil. To take the lead. Excellent block. Jeremy Doku, strong but fair tackle. Oh, splendid skill. Ducouré, he must finish! And into the last 15 minutes of action. And hit with ferocity! Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Well, that would surely have won the game. The keeper's done brilliantly to keep that out. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. And I think, unfortunately for him, the less said about that attempt, the better. Well, he had a lot of options there, but he's chosen the wrong one. That was a poor effort. Amadou Onana. The move looks promising. A goal here surely would finish it but really sticking to the task defensively. Erling Haaland. And we've entered the final five minutes. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Rodri. Here's Alvarez. Erling Haaland. A bit wasteful from City. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? And there's the whistle, all even at the end. Of...
occasions Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up it is Manchester City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers well Derek when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in the there it is a delightful start to this match just what they were hoping for Pablo Sarabia. well a joy to watch but no damage done, that's the main thing. Cunha. And nicely struck. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple playing for the keeper. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Significant acreage for City to run into. Good work from Wolves to win back possession. Nelson Semedo. Sarabia. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Jeremy Doku. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Cunha. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Holland. Holland. Real chance. So continuing with the game, City just one behind now. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Holland. And a long way out. Nicely saved. Remarkable save. Yes again. Inspirational. Bruno Jordão. And Wolves in a position of menace. Angles it back. Must be. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Cunha. And the post denied him. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Rodri. And he's hit it with authority. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. And not quite the cross he was hoping for. A City free kick forthcoming. Kyle Walker under pressure here. City couldn't keep the ball. Holland. 
Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Really getting stuck in. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And in it goes! From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Fernando Silva. Half time. That will do it for the first time. So the second half underway, and no doubt about it, City with work ahead of them. Bernardo Silva. Can he put it away? Blocked it brilliantly. Oh, in it goes! Now the level. Who saw this coming? Incredible! Nelson Semedo. He has teammates around him. But the danger averted for now. Neto. And just losing control of the ball. And it will be a throw-in. Well, a disappointing throw there. The crossbar got in the way. Danger averted for now. Well, how close were Wolves there? You sense a goal is coming soon, though. Can they take the lead here? And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. jean Rickner Bellegarde. He's given it away. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Holland decides to shoot just couldn't get it through well there's an example of how to press high up and what a magical save it was well this is a big moment and don't these fans know it let's see about the delivery well he made great contact with that one but the goalkeeper had his own ideas well in fairness it wasn't the best of headers well, you can't argue with those stats, can you? They've had good chances at both ends. Oh, don't... Stewart's a chance! Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Mateus Cunha. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Well, it looked so promising, but it all comes to nothing. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. A delicious piece of skill. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Cunha. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Just the challenge that was required. Plenty of support here. So much focus within the team and completely focused on winning the game now. Oh, could be. Oh, they've done it. They forged ahead and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Chasing this game, Manchester City, with time running out. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Ake. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Delivering it. Oh, disappointing clearance. And not cleared away properly. 
determined defending and we are going to have two additional minutes I would like to say the keepers kept them in this game but I can't see them getting back into this one from long range so full time it is done and dusted here they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game they defended well enough they dominated midfield and they created chances as well it's a great performance focus of attention well, 
Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Chelsea versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players... Oh, surely! There it is! The opening goal of this match and what a start they've made! He read the situation defensively and did his job. Nkunku. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mudrik. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Opportunity here, they just couldn't stay in front, and now this match is all square. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Mudrik. Ball lost by Chelsea, and Chelsea get the decision from the referee. And made sure the pass wasn't troublesome. Wolves unable to retain possession. Must be! Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Jordão. Oh, he's given the ball away. They've regained possession. Likes to run with the ball at his feet, but quick thinking defensively. Nkunku. It's there for him. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. It's a short corner. Di Sassi. Could be! It's still alive! Rewarded for that brilliant high press. And Kunku. And that is defending of the highest order. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Defenders need to cover. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. And Wolves come away with it. The Chelsea move still flowing, advantage to them. He continues his run, and in a perfect position to cut it out. Pablo Sarabia. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Just the challenge that was required. That's a good pass. And he's gone for power, so close to finding the net. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone. And the ball is moving again, with Wolves looking to build on what was a positive first-half performance. What will they produce in this half? It's really opening up positively for Chelsea.
a close offside decision as they were threatening. Craig Dawson. Max Kilman. Wang Hee Chan. Chelsea have it back now. Mudrik. And players waiting in the centre. Dangerous looking attack. Getting in there to intercept. In with a chance. He had to react and did. Nelson Semedo. Cunha. Sarabia, excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Nkunku. And swiftly ending that attack. Nkunku. Chance for them to notch in front. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Nelson Semedo. On to Huang. Nkunku. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Thank you. Mateus Cunha. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Well, it's a textbook example of dynamic passing. Oh, this is looking promising. Still possibilities. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. And snuffing out the danger. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. And oh, they've given him too much space. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Plenty of support here. And that is that for this game anyway, and Wolves... They were certainly off the pace today, beating to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out.
can understand why. Two high levels. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is... And he's through here. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Dybala. Now, can he get on the end of this one? It's still alive. And behind it's gone for a corner. Opportunity in the air. Well, he just couldn't get above it. A decent effort, though. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, that one has promise. And that's very intelligent play to win back possession. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Gisa and having a go and the volley onto the woodwork I think he was a bit unlucky there well you can say he's a bit unfortunate but I think he should be hitting the target and scoring there working so hard to win back possession Christensen Lukaku firing it towards goal well it turned out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end Given away again. Oh, nice ball. Will he finish? Spinazzola. On to Paredes. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And nicely over the top. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Going short. Has eyes for goal. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Well, he didn't miss by a huge margin, did he? Dybala this could be troublesome can he finish this and a goal it is they lead by two now fully deserved could be threatening there it is a goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round a well-struck pass from the textbook interception he'll try his luck here oh and it goes sensational strike and now he deserves to celebrate oh nice ball over the top and he read it well and the keeper had the measure of that one. And it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Must be! It's in! And this really takes your breath away! A comeback and a half! Brilliant piece of skill. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Politano. And sadly, quite a bit off target in the end. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect and giving them too much space on the flank in with a chance he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge being pressed and pressed high Lukaku credit to them for winning back possession well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a very good first half, and key to that was his movement. Time and time again, ball is loose! Well, no damage done. Dybala just couldn't keep it. Chances on. Must be. Outrageously skillful. Ndika. Not smooth in possession. And the attacking options appear plentiful. So half an hour remaining. It comes to nothing in the end. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Lukaku. Lukaku. Now with Dybala. Danger averted. Can he do it from miles out? A smart stop here. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Not looking all that comfortable on the ball. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Closing down well. Paredes, real chance. Denied again. It's a fierce effort. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud! to see who got the last touch so a throw in it'll be Lobotka oh good strike but the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially Brian Tristante Leonardo Spinazzola a real opening now Victor Ozimhen. And a goal! Fasten your seatbelts. This is not in the bag just yet. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? And just five minutes remaining. goalkeeper got to it well having been awarded the corner they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt well he's bound to be disappointed with himself not a great effort Stuart well the less said about that the better not a good decision from him and a good looking ball oh what an opportunity and a fine stop and that is the end of the contest and not a happy end it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out.
help me find the right words to say To get us back on our way Can we try to fight against the grain? I throw it now what we made The future's far away But I will stay, I will stay Because I, I, I feel again I, I feel again oh, Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, on paper, it looks a rigid 4 4 2, but watch out for the rotation of the wide players and the forward runs from the central midfield players. They could be a handful today. A oh, nice ball over the top. Paredes. This is how the visitors will set up today. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Brian Cristante starts with Leonardo Spinazzola on the flanks. And up front, Paolo Dybala starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. Could be dangerous. Oh, it was... He quartered the attack illegally. Uh, perhaps a card is forthcoming. Oh, a glorious save by the keeper. And nothing wrong with that free kick either. And the corner's been given. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal, the first of the contest. Electric. Brian Tristante. Oh, a great play. But was able to do his job defensively in the end. And he might be through here. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Chiro Immobile. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Zipala really is obsessed with taking the game to the opposition. But can they produce from here? Chiro Immobile. Well, couldn't keep it. Rovella. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And slipped through beautifully. Lukaku! And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, left his man behind here. Takes it on. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Luis Alberto. Felipe Anderson struggling to keep the ball.
Lukaku. He's got to have a go here. Strong hand on that one. A chance now with the corner. The delivery courtesy of Dybala. Danger averted. Lukaku. Will it be Lukaku? Castellanos. Chiro Immobile. And in with a real chance. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Chiro Immobile. Now Felipe Anderson. Surely. And a goal. Another one. Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Now well, they've given him too much space. That's a good looking shot. And so it is. That... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Immobile. A really top notch piece of defending. Could play it in. Textbook defending inside the box. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Could pull one back here. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Luis Alberto. Can they create something from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Paredes. Firing it towards goal. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Zakanyi. Super tackle and they've won possession. And into the last 30 minutes now. Oh, great vision. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Zakanyi, incisive pass. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Zakanyi, the ball with Luis Alberto. Could be. And the keeper more than equal to the task. So the corner played into the box. Danger still on. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Gorgeous ball from Dybala. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. Lukaku. Valentin Castellanos. And giving the ball away. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Chiro Immobile. Castellanos. Zacani. Luis Alberto. Might be a chance to break. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Good technique displayed. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And a fine tackle.
Brian Cristante. That's a high quality pass. Oh, what an opportunity. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Valentin Castellanos. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the Hunt. They were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.
tension is palpable and you can understand and a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history i'm talking of course about the san siro in milan i'm your match commentator derek ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is stuart robson i'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Has a go! Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today. Oh, Ol Kelly, score here, Derek. And the keeper more than equal to it. Corner kick played in. Well, high and more than a bit hopeful. Musa. Given away by the Rossoneri. And a long way out here. Prevented the damage. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Lorenzi. Leal. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Paredes. Romelu Lukaku now. Leal. Giroud. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Good distribution. Well, not the best clearance. Must be! That was going in! Wasteful from Milan. On attacking possibilities. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Lukaku, individual brilliance. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, not on the target, space was at a premium though. Musa. Well now it's with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Just needs to stay calm. And a goal! Paredes on to Spinazzola They're getting the ball forward can they square the game and foiled only by the crossbar well they're so unlucky not to be level now it was a great effort we just wonder if they're going to regret that incisive pass could be in here and he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Lost possession. Giroud. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And as Milan get ready for their set-piece routine, a chance, perhaps, for them to increase the lead. And there we have it. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Is it going to be Pulisic? 
Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Loftus cheek. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Lorenzi. Rafael Leao. This is Loftus Cheek. Brian Cristante. Oh, he's given it away. Jihou. Yunus Musa. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Has someone to play it to. Real defensive resilience. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. And possession lost there. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Worth the try. And danger still. Well, nothing untoward happened. Blocked his cheek. Well, not giving him any breathing room. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Leal. Calabria. Giroud. This could be it. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Might be a chance to break. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Oh, he's gone for goal. Oh, from miles out, he's done it. How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique. Wondrous. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Rafael Leao. This is Loftus Cheek. Yunus Musa. Leal. Will it be? Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. And offside it is. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors. You're right, Derek, they really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.
Lights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson, and very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. What a save! Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. And the line-up for the home side. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Brian Cristante starts alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Paolo Dybala. A Juve free kick here. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Weston McKenney starts alongside Adi Arabio in the centre of the park. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? And he's got and scores here. Romelu Lukaku. It's the first goal of this match. Ibarra. Oh, he's after the foul. A chance to contemplate what is next. And perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, the free kick just 
Just over the crossbar. Well, I have to say, I thought that was going in. But as you said, Derek, just over the crossbar. Not quite coming down in time. Just the challenge that was required. Moise Keane. Opportunity to level it. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Brilliant piece of skill. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Spinazzola. It's with Paredes. Lukaku. Moise Keane. Milik! And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Oh, good-looking run. Milik! And top-notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Excellent vision from Zibala. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. And now Arkadiusz Milik. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's what they're doing. And there the move ends for now. Well, he's certainly not alone. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Will they get themselves level here? Full credit, wonderful stop. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And so it is, the first half store. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. An effective challenge. Lukaku. Here's Cristante. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And now, Arkadiusz Milik. Superbly read and executed. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that... Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. This corner kick might help them. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Pablo Dybala with the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Weston McKenney might be a chance here. Is it going to be? And another goal for the Bianconeri. Big moment for Juventus in this game. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And he got to it fairly easily. Jalo. And it's with McKenney in a decent position now. Weston McKenney. 
Arkadiusz Milik. Excellent defending. Lukaku. A super tackle and they've won possession. Lukaku. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Oh, it strikes the bar. Well, it's been a frustrating game for them so far. And that shot off the woodwork just about summed up their game. The Bianconeri have given us away. A oh, tremendous vision. Well, hit on the volley. Terrific strike. Well, it's a very difficult technique, but I actually think he should be scoring there. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. He must finish! Oh, it was a crucial challenge. It's a short corner. Good effort here! Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Corner for Juve. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Timely intervention. Rabio. That is how to keep it out of the net. Elects to go short. Well, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Dybala. That's a good-looking shot. Superb block. Player on the way again. And he did well to cut it out. Milik. And making his move inside. Huge block. And there goes the final whistle. It's good. They weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. Feel it in your arms, feel it in your legs, feel it on your fingertips and feel it in your head. Just let your body go, just let your body go, just let your body go and move to the rhythm.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Alberto might lead to a chance. Opportunity. Well, what a stop that was. Delivering it. Not the best clearance. Marusic. Real chance. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Good pressure to regain possession. Took as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Milik. And easily intercepted. Felipe Anderson. And threading it through. Can they stop it going in? Well, I have to say that was an outstanding piece of goalkeeping. And most importantly, it stopped Juventus from taking the lead. Playing with plenty of zest and energy on the front foot once more. And a precise challenge just when it was required. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Opportunity here. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. Well, Juventus have it back here. Clean challenge. Milik, and will it be the leveller? Luis Alberto. Vlaovic has eyes for goal. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Could be. And there's a quality defender in action. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Lahovic. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Milik! What a vital intervention. Castellanos, Rovella, Zacani, regained possession, Moise Keane, now Felipe Anderson, And so it is, the first half story. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And great work to confuse the defender. Really good challenge. Has a go! save and he snuffed out any sign of danger played over and the danger still on and the attack fizzling out Weston McKenney 
Now counter-attacking possibilities. Can they square the game? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Given away by Rabio. Weston McKenney. Will he find the net? And Juventus have done it. A goal for them. Level pegging. Can he take them on and beat them? It's a perfect challenge. Castellanos. The ball with Luis Alberto. Valentin Castellanos. It might be. Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. Breaking at pace. It needs an accurate cross. Can he make it count? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much. Hence the award of a free kick by the referee. This could level it. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Rabio. Moise Keane. Decilio. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans doing every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. Just cutting off the supply. And tremendous individual skill. In a dangerous position. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Oh, what an opportunity! Promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And Juventus getting forward. A goal at this late stage, and that might be that. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Castellanos struggling to hold on to the ball. Can he take advantage? Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Oh, perhaps to win it. Well, a save to be proud of. Well, he's pulled off a top-class save there at such a vital time as well. Couldn't quite hang on. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. And there it is, the full-time whistle here. It was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. You came into my life just like another season. Not for long, just a time Just like another season
the San Siro where the spiraling ramps lead to a seat in one of football's most famous venues. I'm Guy Mowbray, alongside me is the former England striker Sue Smith. We've got action on the way from Serie A. What are we going to get from this one, Sue? Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. Could turn out to be a really good ball. And the ball is lost. Problems now for them. And there it is. The goal that's broken the derby deadlock. And hasn't this crowd enjoyed it? Chance for the equaliser. And it's there. The lead didn't last long. They're back level already. And to go a long way with this. Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. That's not a bad-looking ball. Lovely 
lovely ball. This could lead to something. And it's opened up for him. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. Over it comes. And that's not properly away yet. Well, that promising attack has been stopped. Martinez. He's hit that well. Very, very close. But it was rising from the moment it was struck. Moving forward under no real pressure. But that's cut out quickly and easily. For the lead now. Still problems for them here. The keeper reaches to punch away. Verone. Oh, excellent vision. Has to be. Oh, a great chance. It's there, and into the lead they go. Lookman. Well, that's been won really smartly. Skamaka. Oh, that's not properly away. Come to anything. Disappointing. Untidy in possession there. And Imola Lukman. They could level it here. Well, he's got two now, and he's playing a starring role here. And superb technique to get past his man. And that's where it ends, with the ball won this time. Martinez. Well, that looked goal-bound at first, but it's ended up in the crowd. Gianluca Scamacca. Scamacca. A chance under pressure. The effort shut out. And that's good goalkeeping in a difficult situation. In the right position to cut out the pass. Trying to force a mistake. Perhaps unlucky, the pass played out for a throw. And a cross into the area. And nothing coming from their play in the end. And there's the whistle, and that will do it. So we're underway again with the sides all square. The attack is over. Really good defending. Plenty of open space here. Trying his luck. A little careless there as the ball changes hands. Well, we've seen a top player at the top of his game up to now. It's been a performance of the highest quality. Yeah, well, there's no surprise that we're focusing on his performance. Certainly the standout of the first 45. And I'm sure they're going to be looking to get him on the ball at every opportunity. And that has stopped any potential danger. Could be trouble. He's lost it. Could be costly. The referee playing advantage. Inter regained possession. Marcus Turan. Well, plenty of power on the effort, but just wide. Goal kick it is.
Martin de Rome. Move of real promise developing. He's hit that well. And that was hit from some distance and didn't miss by a great deal. Didn't. He's certainly full of confidence. And to attempt the shot from there, that was close. They've given it away here. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here? And that is a quality bit of goalkeeping. Nicolo Barella. Well, the fans are trying their best to push the team forward. I'm sure they feel there's a goal coming. Well, there's the flag. Offside. Skamaka. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. To take the lead, and the shot thwarted. It's a corner, and a chance may be to go in front. Martinez. And the ball has been lost. In behind, can he finish? It's in, and it's their game to lose from here. <laughs> and the forward progress continues. Went for it, but not a lot going for it. It's a miss of some margin. Adimola Lukman. Need to find a way to that late leveller, and this could be it. Well, a chance might have developed, but not now. Can he finish? And the chance to draw level is missed. Oh, well, that was the opportunity to equalise right at the end. I can't see there's going to be another one now. Oh, that's been won really smartly. take things forward a notch here that's a free kick and you couldn't choose many better spots for one oh they've lost it the attack is over there is the final whistle and it's into it's a close game lots of energy from both sides quite evenly matched weren't they but i think they deserve the results overall
committed fans and neutral observers. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It is Torino up against Inter. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, the timing was nearly perfect with that header. And a look at the starting lineup for Torino. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4 4 2 can still be a good system, both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. And a look at the Inter team. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Marcus Turam plays alongside Lautaro Martinez. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Play towards the back post. And he knows he must thump it away. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Tamez. It's with Zapata. Might be a chance here. Well, the bar can beat the goalkeeper's best friend. Can they keep it out? And players waiting in the centre. Can he put them in front? Determined defending. Well, he's given it away. Well, the hosts have completely bossed the game in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Excellent defending. Incisive pass, real chance. Trying to lob the keeper. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Ilic. Oh, great attacking play. A glorious chance. And how about that for a save? Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Okereke. Well, attacking possibilities. Oh, what an opportunity. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Tamez. Wasteful from Torino. Inter exploiting the space on the flank. Really good build up, but no end product. A chance then for... Well, back in business here, and Inter trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? I'll tell you what, it wasn't a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, it was a decent chance, but they're still behind here. They needed to take that one. Duvan Zapata. Take it away. Federico Di Marco.
this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective... Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Antonio Sanabria. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Martinez and defensive play to be applauded. Just had to look a bit lively given the pressure. And a good take under duress there. Duvan Zapata. And that was a very fine read. 30 minutes to go then. Varela. No mistake by the keeper. He's in behind. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Vlasic. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. That is a tackle and a half. Antonio Sanabria. Can he find the right pass? Can they convert? Decent shots, but the post getting in the way. Goal kick it is. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Tamez. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? A corner will ensue. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Ilic. It's with Zapata. Ivan Ilic. Inter with the ball once more. Martinez. It's with Zapata. Okereke. And a struggle for Torino to keep possession of it. Federico Di Marco. Well, and to have it back now. Duvan Zapata. Well, the electronic board. Sanabria! And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fan. Absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Field completely dominated the game. It was a great all round performance.
like for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Still alive. And problem solved for now. Martinez. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Well read to put an end to that attack. And great work to confuse the defender. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Well, not the best clearance. Superbly read and executed. Chalanolu might work out. Mikitarian and still looking to get the shot away. Reading it well. But it just petered out. That's a good looking ball. And he's in. Oh, chipping it. Well, a chip that went awry. Well, maybe it was the right option, but his technique let him down there. Chalanolu. Mikitarian. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, he saved it well. Well, it's all level here, thanks to a brilliant stop from the keeper. Inter just can't believe they did take the lead there. Damian, given away by Inter. And a lot to like about this attack. It might end up being a genuine chance. What an important piece of defending. Pessina. Oh, the threat is there. He has time to play it over. Palombo successfully cut out. Di Marco. Mkhitaryan. Oh, genuine chance. And it's in. 1 0. They breach the defense. Palombo. Well, good run and good ball control. But nothing comes of it. Barella. This could be troublesome. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Pedro Pereira. An unforced error, you've got to say. Mkhitaryan with the effort. Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. Churia. Now he must favour the cross. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. So a throw in for Inter here. Pressing like that will help the cause. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talk. Well, it's advantage Inter after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from the issue being settled here.
Messina. Pedro Pereira. What can he do with it now? And will it be the leveller? And fine goalkeeping. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. And not the best clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Good visualisation and execution. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, Lautaro Martinez had plenty to say for himself in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And whipped into the box. And the keeper didn't have too much time. Pedro Pereira. And into the last 30 minutes now. Can he find the right pass? Well, disappointing end to the move. And they need to get tighter. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oh, left his man behind here. Breaking at pace. Could be. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Pedro Pereira. He's in with a chance. A goal as they cut it to their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Martinez. Nice weight on the pass. Can't miss, surely. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Pessina. Just 15 minutes remaining. Churia. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But quick thinking defensively. Nice looking pass. Martinez. And quick thinking defensively. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Martinez. He'll try his luck here. Defending really well. Messina. A real struggle to contain him. Oh, nice ball. And it might be goalkeeping of the highest order well he's got to be pleased with that save it's absolutely magnificent and the problem not completely solved tremendous block and there it is a goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been at the best he's taken on his opponent here could reduce the deficit and a good take under duress there What a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end product from them. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history. I thought it was a sub-par performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out.
such a massive signal. Hello to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Inter in position, and a goal! That is a very bright start, perfect way to open. What can they do from here? Excellent strike! Well, able to close down the shot. Wonderful chance! They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And continues his run. Opportunity it is. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Marcus Tuham. Long way out this. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. And it's gone behind for the corner. You can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Playing it in. No defensive resilience there. Oh, might be. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Ikone. Moving the ball forward. How creative can they be? Tuham. Really getting stuck in. Inter did well to regain control of the ball. Could pull one back here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Christian Kuame. Duncan. Matteo Damian. And a body in the way. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Hendrik Mikitarian. Let's fly here. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Martinez. Excellent defending. Well, credit to the goalkeeper, because that was a terrific save just to keep their two-goal lead here. Well, they've given him too much space. It's a perfect challenge. Ricardo Sotil. And teammates to play it to. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Must be! And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Duncan. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Favouring the short one. And having a go! And tipping it over the crossbar. So now a corner. Useful ball to the near post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect.
chance here. Crucial piece of defending. And nicely parried away. In a decent position now. Well, you feel they needed to score there just to get back in it. But it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. And he stopped them in their tracks. And they do like to press whenever they can. Nzola. Fruitful looking attack. And defensive play to be applauded. Marcus Tuhan. Opportunity here. Terrific piece of anticipation. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Great defending. Thirty minutes to go then. Good work from Inter to win it back. And he has options available. And a long way out here. But the keeper takes charge. And it was pretty straightforward. Sotil. Oh, good looking run. Low one in there. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And Fiorentina have it back now. Artur. Is it going to be? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Barella. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Well, no way through. Christian Kuame. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And they've wasted the chance when all is said and done. Oh, dear. Well, the finish didn't match the build-up play. That was a really good counter-attack. And Inter doing well to regain possession. And a long way out. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Cristiano Biraghi. Duncan. Icone. Icone. Now he's got to stay calm. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Remarkable save. Yes, again. Inspirational. Chalanolu. Successfully cut out. Ikone. Excellent strike. That's a routine take. Well, not long to go now. And Inter haven't really been able to find the right gears. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. Duncan. Artur has it. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes. Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
feel like I linger Linger between the words to say eh? To say the words you remember Now we're here to take control Over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back everything and lose it all Lose it all for football the floodlights shining down on the players as we speak i'm derek ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is stuart robson and the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in italy it is torino facing fiorentina thanks derek as always this should be a good game great atmosphere inside the stadium we've got two teams full of quality some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football what more could you ask for corner given smuggled away Icone and a look at the starting lineup for Torino well this system gives them a good defensive base a well drilled back four a solid midfield with wide players tucking in and two forwards who can press the ball but does it provide enough fluidity going forward I'm never sure And just blotting out the danger. And a look at the lineup for Fiorentina. Well, it's 4 4 2 against 4 4 2. You don't see that very often these days. But I'm sure we're going to see slightly different versions of it once the game gets going, particularly in the wide areas. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Pietro Panegri. No, high quality defending. What can he do with it now? Takes on the shots. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Tamez. Adrian Tamez here. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Promising pass. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save! How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And Torino doing well to regain possession. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. 
And now to level the game. And confidently convert it. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Can he put them in front? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And passing it through. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defence. Biragi. Back to Ikone. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Brilliant piece of skill. Vrasic. Ivan Ilic. And Fiorentina with the ball again. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. Christian Kouame, and a fine tackle. Pietro Pellegri, chance to attack using width. Can he finish this? And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. Ivan Ilic. It's there for him. Real defensive resilience. Well, nothing untoward happened. And so it is, the first... So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. A potential danger here. Superbly read and executed. Might go ahead. Vlasic, really good challenge. Can he play it in? It's got to be! And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! And the pass deftly cut out. This could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. A lot of space to attack. Christian Kouame. There's a cutback. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Pietro Pellegri. It's with Zapata. Vlasic. Very quick thinking there. Ricardo Sotil. It should be. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Good idea. Fruitful-looking attack. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. He cuts it back. Surely! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Vlasic and scope for them to produce something exciting and the throw-in goes to Torino Matteo Lovato Tamez that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here it's a perfect challenge and great work to confuse the defender. A 
opportunity. And a goal! There he is, and the double. They just can't subdue him. Can he find the right pass? A well, fine reading of the situation. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Christian Kouame. Oh, that is a superb save. Over it comes. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Five minutes left. Possession seeded by Torino. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. That's excellent defending following the cross. Will it be? And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Ilic. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history book. They were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time next year You'll reappear for no reason But I'll cherish every day Until you come my way this season Just like a 
talking about and with good reason two teams of strong pedigree Rich... welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down i'm derek ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst has... he's in here and you've just witnessed a moment of truly high class goalkeeping you're absolutely right what a save that is he's reacted so quickly well in fairness not the greatest of headers Duf. Sotoka are getting the ball forward. Can he take advantage? There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Decent looking pass. He brings it down, but work to do. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. from a long way out well it would have taken perfect technique from that sort of range and that was less than perfect uh, not a good decision from him that's a waste of possession there Harit and the throw-in coming up for Marseille Contogbia failure to keep the ball by Marseille Obama Yang chance for the leveller and a goal to level this contest. All even. A really good pass. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Giving the ball away. And that's really well read. And Marseille pushing forward with options available. They've given it away. Reading it through. And he's through. Better two. Obama Yang still passing it around with authority. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. And defensive play to be applauded. And unable to keep possession. Now options are plenty. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. El Yawahi. And now Thomason. Real determination in the challenge. A throw in here. Medina. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Will it be? Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though.
Nicely timed tackle. Kondogbia. There two. And that puts them in position. And the whistle is sounded for... And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, he was miles out, but still had the audacity to go for goal. Yeah, as you said, a long way out, but what a good strike that was. He hit it so cleanly. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. He'll take this on. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And problem solved for now. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Can he get them in front? And a fine stop. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Foiling his opponent completely. Good tackle. Eliwai. Oh, great attacking play. Well, he's given it away. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. And support available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Strong but fair tackle. Good use of advantage there. Medina. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Good idea. He might profit from here, you know. Must finish. Just ten minutes remaining here. Committed challenge. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. But they dealt with the threat posed. Had it. Well, closed down straight away. Samed. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, can they be creative from here? And a good looking ball. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. And the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. It's still dangerous. Sends it back. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it.
There we have it. The 90 minutes are over.
game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't... Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by the former England striker Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got a game from League 1 for you today. It's Nice and they face Launce. Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers will be reminding them, remember what you need to focus on and block out all of that noise. Here's the Nice team sheet. Yeah, it looks to be a 4-4-2, and you'd expect the two strikers to occupy both centre-backs. When they attack, they'll combine, and the wide midfielders, they'll get forward to provide crosses for them both. Oh, great work. What's next? And the cross is blocked. Still problems for them here. And there it is. The opening goal. And what a bright start it's been. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Allowing space and he's finding it. And it's on now. Oh, you can't stop them now. They've got another in double quick time. And that will keep the attack moving nicely. And they went too soon. It's offside. Well, can he get onto this? And a brilliant save. What a stop that is. Really good goalkeeping. Oh, it's a really good header, but it's met by a more than decent save. And behind for a corner. Pressure still on. It's played in now. The defensive job done for now. Able to get his fist to it. Decent chance, this. Oh, it's hit the post. Well, that was so close, wasn't it? And you just feel if that had gone in, it might have given them a little bit of momentum for the rest of the game. It's unlucky, that. This to get back into it. There it is. A lifeline in this game. And surely momentum is with them now. Incredible. Is looking good now. What comes next? Low, hard cross. Oh, really good goalkeeping there. The pass was red, and the ball has changed hands. What a chance here! What an incredible few minutes from down and out to all square again. Can you believe it? He's hit that well. A really good interception to take the ball. For the lead now. Sanson. Working hard to win it back there. It's sloppy in possession. On he goes. Terrific. Having a look. There may be an opportunity to get their noses in front with this corner. Fired to the edge of the box. And off the crossbar. So unfortunate. Well, I thought that was in, Guy. He struck it so sweetly. Plenty of power. You can't come much closer than that. Pushing forward with options available now. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. They're not getting close enough here. And that's not a bad save at all. Well, there's not been much to cheer about for a while, but they're certainly getting behind them here. They sense that a goal's coming. And that's going to be it for the first 45... 
So away we go then for the second half. Really good pass. Great chance here. Oh, seeking his second goal, but the keeper stops it. He's certainly been bright getting himself into... Oh, it looked as though the header was goal-bound. That's a really good stop. And behind for a corner. It's hit the bar. Well, that promising attack has been stopped. Oh, that wasn't far away, was it? They do well to create the chance. They just couldn't quite finish it off there. Waited beautifully. Oh, that's how to win the ball. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. Now, this has to be. Brilliant. Great save. What a stop, was it, from the keeper. He doesn't have much time to react. That's a top save. And it's a goal kick when it looked for all the world like being a goal. That's perhaps unlucky. The pass played out for a throw. Oh, a great chance. Well, he's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Yeah, he's done well, hasn't he? Not just his goal, which he did show great composure, but it's been his all-round play has been good, always positive and just never stopped running. Good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Oh, you might have to wait a long time to see anything like this again. Somehow, incredibly, they're now in front. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Laborde. Nicely played, saw the threat and stopped him. The counter looks on here, options available. Is this the equaliser? And ready for it coming his way. Over it comes, and the defence will be able to deal with that. Untidy in possession there. And this could be kept out, but for how long? Oh, that's brilliant. Read the pass superbly. Well, they'll be disappointed to still be behind here, but we have to praise the goalkeeper for an incredible save. You just think if they continue with this positive play, it's only a matter of time. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Now there might be a chance to level things. Having a try. And the ball is still alive. Great defending. Gaetan Laborde. Could be something on. And the flag has gone up. Well, he's got to play the ball quicker for me. You can only hold your run for so long. Well, that's how to clear it. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Nicely played. Stop. That should seal the win. Well, if they go on to win this, a lot of praise has to go to the keeper for that save. It's a huge moment in the game. Now there could be a chance to counter. That's not a bad-looking ball. They need to get bodies back. But not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. Well, that's a little overhit, and that'll be the keeper's. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take. The teams give absolutely everything. There was a real intensity to the game, but I think the moments of quality just give them the edge and they deserve the results.
the magical feeling of match day and the Hello, we're in Lyon today. A warm welcome to you from the Groupama Stadium. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position. And we've got action for you today from Uber Eats Ligue 1. It's Lyon and they face Lens. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. Here's the Lyon team sheet. Yeah, it's a 5-2-3 out of possession, but as soon as they win the ball back, the shape could be more of a 3-4-3, making sure that those wing-backs push forward. This is the lineup for the visitors. Well, they're lining up in a 5-2-3 formation. I'm sure when they have the ball, the wing-backs will push forward to make it more of a 3-4-3. The wide forwards may go central, allowing the wing-back to provide the width. Oh, they must score! Oh, it's in! An early opener to get the game going. Maxence Kakare. Ben Rama. Lacazette. Florian Sotoka. A little sloppy on the ball there. Moving it forward with purpose. Something on, maybe. Taliafico. That was well spotted. The attack is over. Medina. Ben Rama. Lacazette. Could get it over now. A nice cutback. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Kakare. Moving forward well. But it will now be tidied up and cleared away. Lacazette. And they've lost it now. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Nicely played through. Free kick given here, and a real chance to threaten the goal. And the effort is stopped by the keeper, who's got it away. And that's a corner. Maybe the chance to get their noses even further in front. And cleared well away from goal. And the ball has been lost. Kakare. Medina. In the right position to cut out the pass. Ben Rama. Lacazette. Encouraging signs to the attack, but it hasn't led to anything. And that will do it for the first half. And we're back underway for the second 45. Adrian Thomason, Elie Wahi. Some good work to win it there. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. 
What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, he's had a really productive first half. He'd give his side the lead with a tidy finish, but it's his all-round play that's been so good too. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the second half. Well, you really shouldn't concede possession as easily as that. He'll have to be quick. Well, he's kept that out nicely. And there could be repercussions after a challenge like that. A really good interception to take the ball. What a chance! It's saved! Magnificent from the keeper! Oh, that is a great save, it's so close to him. His reactions are quick and that's really good goalkeeping. Well, maybe he was distracted, but that's a miss. Well, it's nowhere near in the end, but praise has to go to how well they defend this. Just don't give him time to set himself. Taliafico. Has to be. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Wahi switched on and ready to intercept that. Edging ever closer to goal here. And that's where it ends. Genuine chance. Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a prompt. Well, he's got two now and he's playing a starring role here. And the game kicks off with a score 3-0 now. Put into the middle. Into a good area, but nothing's come from it. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Really good pressure. Can they make something of this? Great chance here. Well, it did look threatening, but the keeper will be happy to claim that. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Weighted beautifully. Well, speculative effort. Well, it was always rising, and in the end it rose too high. Tadlio Fico. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Elie Wahi. Clinton Mata. Alex Lacazette, in behind, can he finish? Untidy in possession there. Lovely ball, this could lead to something. Safe, but not clear. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. Good cross into the middle. It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. And that brings an end to the match with disappointment. This was certainly a bad day at the office. So poor at the back. They just looked so nervy, and when they went forward, it was really slow and pedestrian. They'll be really disappointed after that.
have for you today? Well, conditions really couldn't be any better here tonight. A very warm welcome to you on this fine evening. I'm your commentator, Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith. And we've got League 1 action for you today. It's Lance, and they take on Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers are... Can he finish? And we haven't had to wait long for the opening goal. It's 1-0. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. And the forward progress continues with a good ball. And it's a good diving save, although one you'd expect to be made. Something different from the corner. Sent into the middle. Oh, dear. Everything about that wrong. A poor example of how to head the ball. Wahi. And superb technique to get past his man. Read the pass well and cuts it out. Now a sense that something could happen from this. Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. his luck well not the easiest of saves but you'd expect him to probably stop that and they go short with the corner Dembele and it's opened up for him and just off target well it's a respectable effort though but still looking for that cushion here good work from PSG to win back possession chance here another goal and it's one that tightens their grip on this game Mbappe what a chance here oh superb save he's done so well to keep that out and the keeper able to hold on to it at the second attempt well you can sense the relief it's a fantastic initial save though Oh, nice vision in that pass, but it's offside, surely not by much. No, it can't have been. It really looked like he timed his run to perfection. He's marginally offside, really unlucky that. And the pass narrowly fails to reach its target, Rowan to come. Options available in the middle. Has to be, and the shot thwarted. Chance now for a quick transition. And that will be one the manager will want to see again. It's a close call for offside. Ball taken away from them. to go a long way with this but that's where any chance of anything developing disappears and he'll have a go here and that's not a bad save at all well they've not seen much from their team lately in an attacking sense and the keeper has done really well to keep the header out well, danger averted but it will be another corner and a marvellous save well it just shows great reflexes and agility to keep that out it's a top class save Found nicely, and in. And it's opened up. Oh, it was a why not moment, that. And he wasn't far away. Well, he's certainly full of confidence to attempt a shot from there, and it's really close to going in. Need to get tighter here. Genuine chance. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away now. Absolutely dominant. Ball rolling again after a sublime first half from PSG.
And this could be. Oh, that's fabulous from the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is. What a fantastic save that is. He shows great power and agility to get to it. Certainly one for the show reel. And that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. Well, we've seen a top player at the top of his game up to now. It's been a performance of the highest quality. He's been the standout, the difference between the two teams. And at times, he's been unplayable. The goals were clinical, and he just looked hungry for more. Trying his luck from range here. Well, he really wound that up, and he was very close to scoring. He's so unlucky not to score. I didn't think he'd shoot from there, but nearly got his reward. And they've lost it now. Put into the middle. That was a big one. That ought to have been put away. Hernandez. On to Dembele. And we could watch that sort of skill all day. Lovely, incisive ball. And it's nicely stopped and held by the keeper. Adrian Thomason. A counter looks on here. Options available. Is there something at the end? Can he finish? Oh, wonderful stop from the keeper. Yeah, he didn't have long to react, but you have to praise his reflexes. Usman Dembele. And they need to be better on the ball than that. Medina. Frankowski. Bailey now, just about able to keep it in. Good work to regain possession. Mbappe. The chance now for a quick transition. And stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. Usman Dembele. Kylian Mbappe. Good ball in behind. Oh, well saved. That was a really good chance. Across the dead ball line for a PSG corner. Delivered into the box. Only half the job done there. And that's a shame for them as the move breaks down. And they've got it back now. Good challenge, and a throw-in to come. Looks a good ball. Oh, good strike! Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. And that's crossed the line. Goal kick. have a go here and two becomes three as he completes his hat-trick a superb performance and that's nicely won to see off the threat need to get tighter here has to be and the keeper more than equal to it and here it comes oh it's a really good header but it's met by a more than decent save. Well, danger averted, but it will be another corner. Oh, that's not properly away. Crucial defending. They'll keep on coming. Corner again. Oh, it's still in there. And the play breaks down. Genuine chance. And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. Played into the box. Oh, what a really good save that was. That's it, full time. And it's PSG who take the win. It was really comfortable, wasn't it? The play going forward was so clinical. Took them apart at times and produced some top quality finishes too. It's a great result.
Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. Oh